final oh, episode of Chernobyl. Oh boy, what an episode. I thought it was great. We had some courtroom scenes, we had some flashbacks, yeah, we had some flash forwards. This was the end of the series. It's great. Mm -hmm. No tears this time. No, uh, and no depressing like, you know, the last episode. None of that. Mm -mm. Thank God. Amen. Yes. So they started out kind of like showing like scenes from like what Chernobyl used to be and stuff like that. And then they kind yeah. of flashed to like after they had a, a trial. I think it was for the UN or something. They were in Vienna, but they flashed to like after the trial. Yeah, when because it wasn't their own personal like Soviet Union trial. Right. Vienna trial. Yeah, which is like to the world. Yeah. And they said... Uh, like some big KGB guy pulled the head scientist dude aside and he was like, hey, you did a real good job. And here's a piece of paper saying, you're cool. The KGB even has yeah. given it to me, but you're cool. Thanks for doing it. Yeah. And he's like, oh God, what am I doing in my life? Because he lied. Yeah, because he lied. He, he said lied. he lied how it actually happened. Mm -hmm. But then um, the one lady comes to him and is like, dude, this new trial, this next trial, you got to tell the fucking truth because there's going to be scientists there in the courtroom. And at the very least, they got to hear what you got to say. Right. Because those scientists, they know. They're going to smell his BS. So, and this trial was taking place in Chernobyl. Yeah, like, they all traveled there. Yeah, like, okay, this is the, mm -hmm. the, the trial, the Soviet trial. Let's yeah. do it. So yeah. Then they... Flash to the um, courtroom and it's all like, who, what's he going to do? So the first person to speak is the guy from the KGB who is assigned to the whole thing, who's played by Stellan Skarsgård. Right, 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 right. The big guy that has all the polls in government. Mm -hmm. And he was like, he, you know, kind of said what he had to say. He didn't change up his story. Yeah. Not necessarily that it was a lie because he didn't tell all the details, but he was just like, okay, here we go. Yeah. This is what we're going to show you. And he had a big thing and show oh, the reactor cores yeah. and stuff like that. And this was great because they had three people kind of tell you what actually happened in Chernobyl because by now we don't, uh, by then we didn't know what happened. So he, he, bit, his job was to explain to you how a nuclear power plant works basically. Right. And he had a whole like 3D model. Mm -hmm. It was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I was like, if I had my Barbies, I would have them go in there and be like, boo! Let's blow out this place. Be the best. That'd be so fun. And then the next person that went and spoke at the trial was the scientist lady. Yeah. And she was just like, okay, here's science. Bam. Yeah. She was like, um, she was telling us, oh God, what was her part? I can, I can only think of the last guy's part because she, I think she tells you kind of also a little bit more about the science about how nuclear power plants work. Yeah. And then what happened? And then she stops at a, a cliffhanger. She's like, and then it's 1228 AM. And then she like sits down. And she sits down. And they're like, and? So then the main scientist dude comes up and mm -hmm. he's like, okay. He's his cards. He has all these cards and he's explaining how it all works. And I'm going to be honest with you. I totally blacked out. Ah! I have no idea what the science is, but... I mean, I, I'm going to tell you, th they did a knows. really good job explaining it. Like, mm -hmm. you will understand what happened at Chernobyl when you watch this episode because they did it in the three steps, and by the, the last step with him, uh, he tells you what went wrong and why it was such a disaster. And it was dis mainly a disaster because they were doing a safety test that mm -hmm. they were told they shouldn't probably do, but they decided to do it anyway, and there was yeah. a fucking guy who was in charge of all this and he was like, we're going to do it anyway. We're going to do it, do yeah. it. And then all these people in the room, cause they kept flashing back yes. to the night of mm -hmm. all the guys in the room were like, we shouldn't do this. I don't I, I don't think we should do this. And he's like, just do it. Fuck it. Fuck. Yeah. You know? Just do what I tell you. Yeah. And the best part was, is like, they all of them are like, Hey, this is happening. This is happening. Like the temperature is supposed to be like at 700. It dropped to like, 30. 30. 30. That's was, what the safety test was supposed to be. Yeah, 700. It's 700. And they went, boo. Yeah. The thing that, that I took away from it was they didn't want to do this during the daytime and they wanted to do it at nighttime. Mm, like kind of a secret, secret thing. Yeah. And even the guys who who did it, they were, they were like, 
we've never done this before. I'm brand new on the job. Yeah, like, or, I don't think we should do this. Yeah. We should make, you know, not do it. Yeah. Like, we just got here. I haven't checked my email yet, yeah. you know? Oh, it was 86. So, they didn't have email. So then what is the guy lying about in Vienna? He basically lied. So there's cooling rods that were, um, there's a fail-safe button, and the cooling rods are supposed to go in shoo, like that, right? Because it's boron. And, like, except, stop the whole thing. Stop the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nobody in that room knew even the jerk. Right. knew that it was going to happen. Uh, the rods had little graphite tips yeah. that accelerated the entire explosion. But and Leslie he said that. Why would they put graphite on there? Because, because it's cheaper. 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 And then they're like, wait a minute. What about all this other stuff? Yeah. And the guy's like, it's all about money. The head and scientist lies. guy was like, it's all about money. It's all about lies. The reason that we don't uh, keep all these facilities safe and stuff like that is because it's cheaper. So and all lies. these people are dead because you guys are cheap. Yeah. And we lied about it. Yep. And so. then it goes into this, you got to watch it. It goes into this beautiful, like actual footage, you know, things that happened to the guys, mm -hmm. things that happened to the characters we've been following and um, pe the pe amount of people that have died. But we don't actually know because the Soviet Union uh, just shut all that down and didn't yeah. tell anybody how many people actually died. Yeah, the we'll Soviet Union is saying that Lies. 31 people died, but the actual numbers are between 3,000 and 91,000. Yeah. What? So we'll That's never a know. Big difference. You guys, fucking Chernobyl's so good. It's so cool. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. You should watch it. Yeah. Um, are you watching it? If not, you should watch it. Yeah, try it. It's only five episodes. Yeah. Just, fun. It's Just fine. watch it. You know, okay. binge day. Just do it. If it's raining. Or snowing. Yeah, it's going to be really upsetting. <laughs> <laughs>